Hello, Free Leaguers. This is the Free League update for May 2021. This is our monthly update uh, show where we tell you all the things that are going on at Free League Publishing, whether it's pre-orders, Kickstarter updates, new releases, uh, or anything else that we might have going on. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us. If you're joining us for the first time, uh, please, uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell notification that'll let you know every single time we go live or upload new content. And uh, also, if you are a free leader like myself, hit that uh, little like button down below and uh, share this video with folks that you know are interested in the products that we put out. Thank you so much for joining us. And as always, the co-host for the show, the CEO of Freely Publishing, Mr. Year Zero Engine himself, the one and only Thomas Herrenstam. Thomas, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Thanks uh, Thanks for joining us uh, today. And uh, are you ready for this this update? We've got, uh, we've got a great show today. Sure, yeah, hit me. All right, all right. Just a couple of weeks ago, the highly anticipated... Alien Colonial Marines Operations Manual uh, released uh, with uh, by PDF to those that pre-ordered it. Uh, it was a little bit of a delay, but the book was much larger than they anticipated. It's 352 pages. It is uh, just a massive tome uh, just that uh, provides all sorts of uh, information about the Colonial Marines, and uh, it also gives you everything that you need to run a full open world campaign. Uh, it is incredibly, it, the, the response has been incredibly positive. Uh, I wanna let folks know that uh, you can still pre-order this at uh, alien-rpg.com, and if you do, you will also receive an exclusive art book that I know that pre-orders uh, just received uh, the other day. Thomas, how you want to give us any kind of information about the Colonial Marines Operations Manual? The the web is just buzzing yeah. with this book. It's no, it's, it's been it's so, been super super positive. Yeah, it's been so great to see the response to it. Finally, it's been I mean, a bit of a to be honest, a bit of a painful spring to to have to delay this uh, for a number of different reasons so it kind of kept kept slipping but i think it's worth the wait uh, and just seeing the response to it has been great and uh, and i mean that's largely of course uh, due to andrew uh, gaska who's the lead writer for it and done great work uh, along with a lot of other folks obviously who, who contributed to this book but it's uh no i think it's 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 a great thing and if you want to play alien and if you want to like dive deeper into the setting and and try out campaign play. Uh, I mean, this is I think you know uh, you should give it a try. And uh, like you said, uh, pre-orders are still ongoing, uh, but you get the PDF within a few days after uh, placing a pre-order. So pretty much you get the PDF right away. And we'll be shipping out uh, physical books. Right now, we're uh, estimating it will be about a month from now, around that time. It's being printed as we speak, but it has to be finished printing, shipped to warehouses, and then ship out from warehouses to, to pre-orders. And that's going to take about another month or, or, or a little bit more, but around there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've we've done we've had Andrew on to to talk a little bit about it. He came on a couple weeks ago. Um, I, I personally, I think that this is a must. Like, if you love the Alien Core rulebook, like this is a must-have book for uh, for this game, just because it adds so much more and, and it expands campaign play. And I, I think it's everything that the folks were, were were hoping it was going to be. And and I don't think it disappointed at all. So check it out. Pre-order. Do you know how long the pre? Do you think the pre-orders you? Do you know how long the window for pre-orders will be up? Right. I mean, we have a new release date that's uh, currently August 17. And then this one is is we've given pl plenty of margins. So it's, you know, barring any very, you know, uh, totally unforeseen events that would have to do with uh, shipping or something uh, uh, that we can keep that date. So that means the pre-order is going to run up until that very day. So if you want okay. to get the PDF early, you can get it now. And if you want to get that, digital art book it's going to be available you'll you'll get it if you pre-order before release day so any any time until actual release day uh, you'll you'll get that bonus excellent excellent yeah the other pre-order that we have going right now is for the fifth uh, chapter of the uh, throne and thorns uh, epic campaign for simbrum so any simbrum fans uh we this still is available you can you can pick it up at simbrum 
uh, HTTP, HTTPS colon backslash backslash simbarum.com. Uh, Matthias made sure that I specifically uh, explained it that way because I guess it has to be typed in that way. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, an incredible book that uh, lets you uh, gives you an epic adventure in, in Simbarum and offers support for creating your own adventures in the Lost Lands of the South and in the war-torn Ambria. Uh, also, there's a couple other op options that uh, you can pre-order. Uh, there's a uh, an adventure ca compendium, and uh, yeah, uh, and, and some maps. So if you are a fan of uh, Simbarum, definitely uh, definitely check that out. Uh, that pre-order is still ongoing. Thomas, uh, how's that going? And and how long do you anticipate that pre-order winner to be open? Yeah, no, it's still going, it's, uh, doing well. And I think I just tried just typing simbroom.com and that worked just fine. So it I did work, okay. A little bit overly, uh, you know, careful there. So I don't think you need to type in all of those backslashes and stuff. <laughs> okay. Just simbroom.com should be, should be fine, I'm pretty sure. And if it, you know, right. yeah. blame me if it doesn't work, I think it'll work. So anyway, yeah, it's doing good. Uh, the the pre-order is going, and like you mentioned, be, beside the main campaign book, which is like the fifth installment of this huge campaign, there is a, an adventure collection, and that's a big one actually. It's not it's uh, because it's a lots of older material that was released early in the days of Simbarum that had been out of print for some time. So it's if you're like you know clamoring for some of those lost tomes of of Simbarum stuff from the early days, uh, now that they're back in print, you can get them through this adventure collection. So, so it's a great, uh, great little combo and uh, it's going, uh, the pre-order will continue until we have a release date is July 20, 20th of July. So uh, another two months. Uh, so the same thing there, if you order before that day, you get the uh, pre-order bonus and uh, you also get PDF sent out shortly after you place a pre-order for this, uh, at least I think, Maybe they're not the PDFs are not sent yet, but they will be very soon, I'm told, uh, or they already have it. But in any case, you don't have to wait long for the PDF if you place an order now. Sure, sure. Yeah. No, this is. Uh, I, I know Simbarum fans are Simbarum fans are, are really uh, excited about this this release, and and uh, I'm sure they'll, you know, they want to get the PDF as, as soon as possible. But I haven't I haven't heard anybody uh, receiving it yet. So so uh, yeah, I will have to we'll have to see if Matthias has kind of any any uh, time frame as to what right. he thinks. I, might, that way. I may just have you know jumped the gun a little bit, and uh, <laughs> because I know it's it's very close to going out. So maybe nice. I, okay. I, Managed to, you know, spoil that <laughs> surprise. But anyway, it happens. It happens. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's ex exciting to see. And of course, that's one of our uh, our own IPs. So it's it's always uh, yeah. see that that fan base grow and grow, grow and grow. And we'll we'll talk a little bit about growing that Simbarum fan base here in, in, in the Kickstarter update here in a little bit. But uh, first, there's one other thing that I'd like to uh, talk about before we hit the uh, the Kickstarter updates, and that, of course, is that right now, Freely Publishing has a Humble Bundle uh, currently available. Uh, it is for Tales from the Loop and Simbarum. So this actually will probably grow the uh, Simbarum fan base a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about this? The link for, for this uh, Humble Bundle is, is in the description of this video. It's rather yeah. long, so I didn't put it on the on the screen. So uh, if you would like to, you want to talk a little bit about this Humble Bundle and, and what it entails? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great deal. It's the first time we do, we have done the Bundle of Holding, which is a different platform, but the, this is the first time we do an actual Humble Bundle. So it's really exciting to do that. And it's a, a great deal. You get a lot of stuff and it's uh, Sim Room and Tales from the Loop. So pretty much if you go all in, you can get pretty much everything for these for these two game lines at a very, very, you know, uh, good price. And you also uh, get to, to give to charity while you're doing it. So it's uh, a great stuff. All around so if you're interested in these game lines you don't already have this stuff or you have some of it not all of it it's really really worth checking out so i think you can find it if you just go to humblebundle.com you should probably be right there so check it yeah. out uh it it uh usually yeah it's it's a great deal and and uh i'm so excited to see freely join forces with humble bundle to to create this and and uh, to benefit charities and it's really nice to see i think uh, i think a lot of folks that uh, were kind of on the fence about uh, some of these games will, will finally dive in and, and get a chance to pick them up at a discounted price yeah 
Oh, and uh, yeah, let's. Uh, that's going to do it, I think, for all the new releases and all the things that we've got going on right now uh, in the pre-orders. Let's uh, let's jump to our Kickstarter updates, if you don't mind. Let's sure. talk about another item that is from the Simon Verse, the Tales from the Loop, the board mm -hmm. game. Uh, yes. This is coming out later this year. Do you want to tell folks a little bit about it? I know the play pledge manager is closed and. You want to you want to tell uh, any backers or folks that are, are looking to pick this up uh, a little um, bit of the, some details yeah. on, on this project? Uh, yep, it's in full on full uh, production, so it's um, being uh, manufactured as we speak. Uh, I mean, this is a game with a lot of components. It has those great robot miniatures and and all kinds of awesome stuff. So that's all being done now. So it's kind of out of our hands in a sense that it's it's all being it's all now. On, on, on the production side of things. Um, so just see what I have in terms of the latest updates. Uh, we now uh, estimate that it will come out, go out to backers in late August or September. So it's it has a bit of a delay, uh, partly due to shipping being very slow these days and, and, and stuff like that, but it's coming. and. Uh, well, uh, now I think the pledge manager is closed, if I remember correctly. So there is no way to place a late, make a late pledge anymore. But we will open for pre-orders uh, uh, fairly soon. But uh, probably it's going to be we'll we we'll hold off another month or two. But it's it's uh, we will give that uh, opportunity as well if you want to get in there on on that test of the loop board game too. Excellent, excellent. Uh, another update that we should probably talk about is the Twilight 2000 update. Uh, I know that the beta beta, beta PDFs uh, went out to uh, backers and uh, those that uh, late pledged. Uh, and uh, again, this is another thing that the response has been very, very positive on. On and uh, this is another another really highly anticipated release for us later this year. Uh, do you want to give folks that are interested in Twilight 2000 any kind of update on on that? Sure. Progress? Yeah, uh, it's kind of uh, following the same trajectory as the Tales of the Loop board game in terms of timing. It's also now in in production. Uh, we just sent it over. Uh, we are we have managed to fix uh, all the last little bits and pieces, do the final polish, uh, also with the help of of backers. Since you said we sent out the PDFs and got some final feedback that we also managed to to consider and and act on. So now it's uh, being produced, and yeah, it's um, going to be a big box full of stuff. And I think once you, it's one thing to see the PDF, but I think this is the kind of game that really will, uh, you know, when you get all of these components together, uh, you'll see something. It's, it's going to be, you know, something more. Uh, so it's, I'm really looking forward to myself to see. Like we 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 have uh, some technical some technical difficulties with Thomas. Uh, it looks like uh, Craig, you are very uh, <laughs> very uh, excited. Thank you so much, uh, Fenhorn. Uh, yeah, we're 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 having a couple uh, technical uh, difficulties with uh, Thomas. Some capacity, but. Looks, Hello. This, this, to, 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 Thomas, uh, that uh, inter, the internet, can, the uh, international internet connection sometimes uh, bugs out on us. But uh, yeah, I, I heard I heard Gen Con. That 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 was kind of uh, that, yeah, that was a big I mean, word. That's, uh, right, that was where you lost me. Yeah, if we can, we want it. We'll try to get some. Uh, yeah, some some copies of Twilight 2000, the physical box set to Gen Con in mid September, if we can. Not 100 percent sure, but that's what we're hoping for right now. And and backers obviously uh, should be getting it uh, before that date. Yeah. Now this is this is a project that you personally have worked very very hard on, and you were quite quite involved with. And and this is, you know, not that you're not involved with all the projects at Freely Publishing, but this one you really kind of, I think, dove in and and really kind of. Uh, became 
one of the, one of the main cogs on the, in this free league wheel for Twilight two two thousand. I guess so. Yeah, I mean it's also a team effort, obviously. But yeah, I did uh, quite a bit of the work on on this game together with Chris Lights and Chris Keeling and a bunch of other people on the writing side, and of course then you have all the artists and 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 everyone else. But yeah, uh, definitely it's it's a game that I personally feel have feel strongly about. So it's been yes. great to work on that. And uh, also, you know, mostly pleasing, but also interesting experience uh, to to interact with the community because that's a game with a strong and fairly, I mean, a community that's been around for a very long time. And and obviously, everyone in there have their own uh, ideas of what this game should be. And it's uh, so it's been a it's been quite a ride, but it's been an interesting one. And, and I mean, it's been. Uh, and a lot of great support, a lot of great feedback, and uh, of course, uh, that's contributing to to make the game better because it's a very committed fan base, which is uh, you know something that I hope will make this game uh, long, live long and, and really have a, a good future with a long run, long line of, of supplements and modules for you know years to to come. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, the uh, next update that we should probably bring up is this little uh, little Kickstarter that we did. Oh, that uh, one. Right, yeah, yes. I think uh, I think maybe you know a few few people might be interested in in this uh, this project, uh, the One Ring. Uh, do you, yeah. Do, do you want to? I, I know the pledge manager is still open for folks that uh, that, that pledged and but probably want a late pledge. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there anything anything else you'd like to add uh, as far as information for folks that uh, are interested in the One Ring? uh sure i mean yeah you there is no uh, um yeah you can still make a late pledge and it's still uh we're now very hard at work on the layout side of things the okay. text is done the art is still in progress but well underway i think if i am uh, have the correct information we'll soon share an update with some insights into what the game will look like uh, the cover of the starter set and a couple of other things that have not been shown yet, we will uh, share very soon, like in a few days, I hope. Oh, nice. Uh, on a Kickstarter update, so you can see more of what's actually being done behind the scenes. So, but basically, yeah, we have a lot of talented uh, graphic designers and artists who are working very hard right now on, on putting this thing together. Uh, you still anticipate uh, a late, late 2021 release for this? Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan, uh, definitely. So it's uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work to make it in time because you know obviously after the, just the layout work and everything is done, we still need to print and ship and everything. So it's uh, we don't have a lot of time, but we it should be uh, should be enough. Uh, that's still the, what we're uh, definitely aiming towards it, to release it before the end before the end of the year. And, and even this later this summer, we'll share the uh, alpha PDF so that everyone will get to see the whole thing in PDF format and get the chance to feedback on it before we send anything to print. So stay tuned for that. I don't know exactly when that's gonna be done, but I would say best case like July, could also be August, but around there. So we'll have some time for a round of feedback and testing. Uh, I mean, public testing, and then uh, compile everything and send to print. So later, late summer, uh, you should uh, you could expect the the alpha PDF. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right, there there was one more Kickstarter that uh, that just closed a little while ago, but uh, I think folks probably would like some sort of update because uh, you know there, there's quite a few fans that we got uh, the, for this project, and that of course is uh, Ruins of Simbrum for uh, for Freely Publishing. It's uh, the five E version of Simbrum, and uh, there's quite a bit that was unlocked. Uh, they, we had uh, some books, some adventure modules. We had virtual tabletop platforms. Do you want to give us some sort of update on on uh, Ruins of Simbrum? And I don't think the pledge manager is open just yet, uh, but uh, I think... No, but I think uh, it should be opening soon. I don't know exactly when, but as far as I know, it, it's on the way, so soon. Uh, and I know also there, it's it's uh, a lot of work is being done behind the scenes. I think the player uh, player's guide has uh, not 100% done layout, but it's well on the way. So it's it's uh, yes. that we should probably be able to share an alpha PDF on that soonish, at least during the summer. And then of course there are you know more more books to be made uh, for that one. But but yeah, so that's also well underway, uh, also in layout stage. So it's doing well. 
Excellent, excellent. Yeah, that's uh, got quite quite a few uh, releases that are in the works. A lot of projects and a lot of releases that are that are in the works uh, here yes. at Freely Publishing. Let's uh, let's take some viewer questions. Are you ready for this? All right. I don't let's... know. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I know that there was one right at the top of the show that uh, Bill had uh, said uh, something about, let's see here, question, what is the timeline for the next book in the, Mer the Coriolis Mercy of the Icons or any more Coriolis stuff? Yeah. You have... Uh, yeah. You have That's, uh, uh, we're working on the part three of the Mercy of the Icons uh, right now. I mean, it's in uh, the lead writer, uh, Rick, Rickard Antroya, who's the same guy who wrote part two, uh, is hard at work on that one. Uh, so that's where that is at. Uh, we did plan to release it this year. Uh, that We haven't given up on that plan yet, but it's going to be tight considering all of the other releases that we have and everything else that's going on. Uh, it might end up too tight, so it might slip into early next year. But it's it's definitely in the works, and the wait will not be as long as between part one and part two. So part three is definitely, definitely uh, on the way. And uh, if we're lucky, you'll see it before the end uh, end of this year. Good. Uh, Craig has a question that says, uh, news for what is next for Twilight 2000? Right. We haven't, yeah, even, guess, we haven't even got the, 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 the first bo the box out, but uh, people yeah, are already clamoring yeah. for more content, which is nice to see. Yeah, uh, we have a bunch of stuff planned, and some of it is, uh, it's already done or being worked on right now, uh, a, bu a bunch of expansions. Uh, this still needs to be cleared with our partners, with uh, with uh, Mark Miller and Game Chance Workshop and so on, so nothing of this is completely set in stone yet. It needs to you know be formally approved and, and you know, go through uh, all of the uh, the process that we have for this kind of stuff. But what we are planning and want to do and are working on uh, is a couple of different things. Uh, first of all, uh, that, that's the thing we are doing because that was all in the Kickstarter, Black like Madonna, which is a classic module for first edition. Right. Uh, that is being written by Frank Frey, who did the first version of that same adventure. Uh, so that's uh, and that was a, a, a stretch goal uh, in the Kickstarter. So that's that's being done. It's being worked on right now. Uh, so uh, I don't have an exact timeline yet, uh, but it's 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 coming. Um, uh, and the other one we're working on is um, a book on. We're the plan is to kind of follow the the same themes as in the uh, the first modules for first edition uh so the first the module that we're doing uh, starting out on or that's being worked on right now is uh focused on like cities there's the classic module called free city of krakow which was about krakow but it was also city themed we're doing something a little bit broader it's going to have some information about a krakow or but it's also going to be about playing in cities and, and what's that like. And you can use it in the idea is that you can use this not only for Krakow, but for any city that you want to place your campaign in for, for a period of time. So a cities book uh, is, is next for us. And then after that, we have more, more modules planned uh, along that kind of you know thematic modules. Excellent. Excellent. On the way. We might also do your modules, so we probably most will down the line as well. But uh, these are first in line right now. Awesome. So, Thomas has a, has a uh, question that says, uh, about Tales from the Loop, will there ever be a third game in the Tales from the Loop, Things from the Flood RPG series? I recall some Q&A video stream about it, but I could not find it anymore. All right. Well, uh, yes, possibly. We are, do have some plans in that vain uh i mean we still we work of course with with simon on a lot of projects and uh, there could definitely be another rpg set in his worlds uh that's probably all i can say right now uh, <laughs> but you can probably yeah fairly in the next couple of months or so we should uh, be able to share some more solid news but yes more role playing in the simon versus is uh, definitely something you can uh, look forward to uh, I love it. I love it. The Simon verse. We should have yeah. more, more of the Simon verse in our lives. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, everybody's been really positive in the chat. Thank you so much, everybody. That that's that's been awesome. 
just scrolled all the way down. People are very excited for the physical copies of uh, Colonial Marines uh, book. Uh, and excited about the uh, Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle is gr a great way to also fill any gaps that you might have in your collection mm -hmm. for those games, too. Yes. Just uh, just going to point that out real, real quick. Uh, let's see here. Question. Not specific to any game, but what has been your absolute favorite project you've worked on and why? What is it that you are excited to work on that you haven't started yet? Just, curi just a curiosity. That's a good question. It is a good question, not an easy one either. I mean, it, no. it, it varies. I mean, of course, I, I tend to get really excited about projects uh, and, uh, you know, dive into them. And, and usually the one I'm most excited about is, you know, the one I'm currently into. So it might not be fair to older projects that were, you know, super exciting, uh, you know, when I worked on them. And now I'm excited about this new one. So it's very hard to say, like, overall like that. And the stuff coming up, uh, there are some really exciting things that I'm working on right now that I'm afraid I just can't talk about yet. So it's not going to be much of an answer. But I mean, for me lately, uh, definitely, I mean, Twilight 2000 was certainly like a passion project for me. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, in, in the last couple of years, I think that's been a, a bit of a favorite. Uh, Alien, obviously, uh, Forbidden Lands, uh, which was also a bit of a, you know, a passion project. Uh, so yeah. Those are the ones that come to mind, but yeah, there's there's a lot. Dan Daniel wants to know: Are you planning to release more maps for Simbrum in electronic format, especially Map of Ambria with uh, Baroni's show, like uh, one of the maps included in Corinthia? Well, uh, I believe so. I think we discussed this briefly, like yeah. today, actually. Oh, so I think nice. the idea is that we. I mean, I know, especially now with a lot of people playing online, having like electronic maps. Uh, is pretty useful, so uh, so you can put it out on your your virtual tabletop or, or or whatever, and so that's we're looking into it. Yeah, so probably we, I mean, some of these maps will be sharing or offering in one way or another. So yeah, something along those lines is is uh, on the way, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Dan would like to know if there are any news about the at the Ma mountains of Mad madness volume two. Uh, news, yes, it's coming, definitely. Uh, we are still uh, locking down release dates. It's coming this year. So, yes, oh, okay. it's on its way. It's coming this year. Uh, I don't want to give a date yet, but, yes, it's uh, all there. Everything is in place. So it's mostly a matter of getting all done, doing the layout, you know, all of that stuff. So, so yes, it's coming. Uh, so, yeah, by, it's going to be a good Christmas present uh, this year, I hope. So, yes. yeah. Uh, the board game ca captain asked a question that I don't think we can answer, but if everybody in the chat would like to let us know, why don't you answer this question for us? A uh, question, what would be an another dream IP that you would love to make an RPG based on? Let us know because we can't really, we can't really say like, because then that way it kind of just opens up a whole can of worms, but let us know in yeah. the comments what, uh, what uh, uh, IPs you would like to see free league. Yeah, an RPG good, good, good idea. Let's let's uh, bounce that question back to the to the chat because yeah. it's always neat to see. Um, Robert says, uh, "I noticed a, a lack of physical copies of the Alien Destroyer of Worlds adventure. Will there be another shipment coming to Texas or Southwest game stores?" Um, right. Uh, um, good question. There should be. I'm checking right now. This is like instant. Uh, hang on, give me one second. Right, yeah, uh, it's currently out. Uh, it we have our main main um, warehouse in the U.S. is in uh, Impressions or Flat River, uh, that's in Michigan. So they and then from there it goes out. All of the distributors all of the U.S. order from there. Uh, but at, it's currently out at Impressions, and the next shipment is on the way. And should arrive in yeah in a couple of weeks. So that means in about three weeks it should arrive to Michigan, and then from there it should go out to, to distributors. So that means it should be in game stores uh, anywhere. Uh, yeah, again, I mean it's been there, but it's yeah it, in about a month's time or so. So if you can't find it, uh, ask your retailer, your distributor, or or wherever you are in in the chain to keep an eye out because uh, I think impressions should soon, you know, offer it again once they get the next shipment in. Excellent. 
Uh, Tim Gray asks, uh, any further thoughts about the Cthulhu game? I know that was a stretch goal on the mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the art book that we did for uh, Beranger. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, been, uh, it's 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 happening. It's being worked on uh, on the writing side mostly at this point. So yes, there is progress. Uh, I don't have anything really solid. I don't have any dates or anything very specific yet. So not much of an interesting answer. But it's definitely uh, in progress, uh, and we'll you know, in the months to come, we'll have more on that. But I don't have anything specific right now. Uh, Christopher has a question about any news on official foundry support for the original Simbrum. Uh That's a good question. Yes, uh, I believe it's in the works. Um, yeah, I don't have a timeline for it, but basically we're doing uh, virtual tabletop support for every every game line that we have. It just takes a bit of time to do it all. And Foundry has been good uh, to work with. I mean, we like them all basically, but but the the good thing about thing about Foundry is that we can offer it in our own web store, and it's kind of easier that way. So it's uh, it's been a bit of a we've been focusing a little bit on on Foundry lately, uh, and I do believe a Foundry module for Simbaroom is in the works. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be done, but it should be a matter of weeks or maybe a few months. But yeah, it's coming. I know that virtual tabletop has just kind of just exploded over the last, uh, you know, 18 months just with everything that's going on. So uh, yeah. Foundry and Foundry seems to be uh, I know that there's all sorts of different different tabletop, uh, you know, experiences out there. Foundry seems to be uh, really, really positive. If, if folks aren't uh, have, are still on the fence about trying a, a virtual tabletop, I'm going to say that uh, Foundry's been been very very positive as far as uh, com com the communities that I've been involved with have been really really uh, pleased with the uh, Foundry experience. So, and also it, it it also offers us a way to bundle virtual tabletop with our physical products in our web store too. So that's always that's always a nice uh, nice way yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some great uh, great RPG selections, Thomas. So I hope you got your pencil down, pencil and paper <laughs> ready for for these these uh, suggestion. Uh, sure. Dark City, that mm -hmm. would be an, an absolutely amazing idea for an RPG. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, there's this is this is a popular one that always that always comes up. Predator and Alien versus Predator. Yes. Of course, you know those yeah. are uh, all separate separate IPs, so we would have to uh, really have to, yeah. yeah, go on that. Here's one. Craig says Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. Yeah, the <laughs> RPG. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and, lots of good ideas there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. the the board game captain. Uh, this is my this this. I, I'm on board with this one. The fifth element would be. Uh, sure. I, I would I would definitely uh, be on board with uh, a, a fifth element RPG. That would be pretty. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Ethan says, I would love to see you guys take on an ancient grounded historical setting. You're insanely good at fictional stuff, so I'd love to see what you could do with, say, antiquity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Not a bad idea. Uh, Leolin says, uh, Middle Earth role playing for first and second age IP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, wow. There's there's some. You might, have to, you might have to be making some pitches here pretty soon for uh, all these IPs. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's, uh, if you have any more questions, let's see here. Any news on Vason, the mythic North, uh, also new, new things for forbidden lands. Uh, yes. And yes, uh, we're working on both of those, uh, I mean, modules for both of those games. Um, I guess, let's see. Yeah. in in the summer later this year, yeah. So late. Late summer around there and early fall, uh, we are we will announce new releases for both of them. I think for Vason, we already uh, discussed it uh, somewhere. Uh, we're working on a, a module for based on the British Isles, so we're basically expanding the game geographically to cover not only like Scandinavia and that kind of setting, but also now this book that we're planning uh, will be called Mythic Britain or British Isles uh, and focus on that area. And then we might do more expanding the game to further geographical reg uh, regions and focusing and exploring kind of the folklore and the local tales uh, uh, from that 
that particular area. So that's that's being done. Uh, the the Brit British Isle book is uh, written by Graham Davis, who's been is a you know iconic uh, game writer that did work for for um, for Games Workshop and and uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay back in the 80s, and also been working on the new edition. And uh, he's doing this uh, this uh, module for for Basin Mythic. Britain. So that's that's coming. We'll share more information on that uh, probably after the summer uh, is uh, where we currently stand right now. And yes, we do have more for Forbidden Lands. Actually, uh, we're planning like a double release, like a double feature. We have we've been working on two expansions at the same time, and we just couldn't make up our minds which should go first. So in the end, we decided just to do them at the same time. It's probably a bad idea, but we'll see how it goes. So. Uh, that should be coming along and we'll announce that, yeah, uh, I would say mid middle of the summer or toward the end, around there. Okay. Uh, there should be, and it might it might be uh, a Kickstarter, so stay, stay watch out for, for that one. Nice. Uh, I yeah. know uh, Eric, uh, Eric Granstam is uh, in the uh, Facebook group quite a bit. There's a Forbidden Lands Facebook group and he's been... Uh, yeah. He's been kind of teasing us with with little inf pieces of information that uh, of an yes. upcoming release. So, yeah. so if anybody is uh, a Facebook user, go go search for the for that uh, Forbidden Lands group and and uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's maybe been, get a little uh, bit of yeah. Well, that's his book is one of the ones that we're releasing, and uh, it's uh, his is a campaign book that kind of expands adds another map and expands the world with a new map and a new area to explore. Uh, for Forbidden Lands. So, and the other book is uh, has a bit of a different focus, but we're planning on doing them um, together at the same time. Nice. Uh, Thomas uh, has a question that says, uh, "Is it safe to assume the Alien RPG adventure Heart of Darkness will get a release this year?" It's fairly safe, I'd say. That's definitely the plan. Uh, we're still. I mean, there is a process for these things, so I can't. And it's not all locked in. So I can't say 100% sure, but that is the plan, yes. And we should have more information and a pre-order going uh, like early in the fall uh, if everything goes to plan. So more information on that in a couple of months' time. Nice. Yeah, it looks like uh, got a few more suggestions that uh, of, for I, I, IPs. You'll have to go back and take a look at this chat uh, for... For any sure. ideas, uh, for Thomas. Ideas. Yeah, yes. yeah. There's uh, there's some some great ideas, some some IPs that I love in in this chat. So, cool. uh, looks like uh, folks have uh, dances. Uh, he's looking forward to uh, continuing his facing campaign next month. Awesome. Uh, Michael says uh, he's late. Anyone have a quick recap, <laughs> Michael? It will. This video will be available uh, on on the Free League YouTube channel, which uh, I'll remind folks if you ha are tuning in and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, and then that way you'll get alerts when we go live, and maybe uh, yeah, it's good, uh, good good reminder there to, yeah. to subscribe. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, let us know if there's any other qu questions. We'll we'll take a few more, uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll probably wrap up. Uh, Thomas is a very busy man. We're trying to put out quite a few products in 2021, and uh, we're really excited. And let us know what uh, what products you're really excited about. Uh, Starships and Steel says, "Make your zero stuff. Get my money." That's <laughs> that, <laughs> that's that's a um, that's cool. great. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, Thomas, we're we're planning on uh, doing a, a few events here in the states here before uh, hopefully by you know this this fall. So uh, it'll be nice to kind of get get back into convention season. I know I'm you're sending me out. You're not unfortunately. I don't think you're you're able to come over right away. So so uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, at least we we we're not planning to right now because of all of the travel restrictions and so on. But it seems. At least not for the time being, like, uh, you know, Gen Con uh, will have a, a, a physical component. And uh, if all goes to plan, you will be there. I won't, sadly. Uh, so that's what we're planning to do, unless things change. Uh, you know, we still have to be, uh, you know, follow the situation and see what, what can be done. But uh, so yeah. far, that's what we're planning to do. Excellent. So that's, um, I'm happy that that's starting up again. And, and that hopefully things on the convention trail can pick up uh, and go back to something resembling normal in the, you know, in the next months or, or so. So that's uh, looking forward to that when that happens. I am too. I am too. Uh, Michael uh, asks, uh, what's the next big thing for Simbrum? Going, going to, going to check out that 
check that out uh, since I picked up the Humble Bundle offering. Awesome, Michael, thank you so much. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think we discussed them uh, earlier in the stream there. You have uh, two things, of course. I mean, the, the campaign continues, the big chronicle of the Crown of Thorns campaign, which is uh, now the fifth part on pre-order. So you have four parts already if you're new to the game. There's a lot there. Uh, and, uh, of course, the 5e adaptation of the game also. But uh, you have a lot for the original uh, version of the game to, to dig into. So, uh, and uh, a new campaign uh, uh, installment coming along this summer. So, yeah, lots of stuff happening for, for Simbaroom. Uh, Killhard wants to know, does Free League venture into Canada as well when you once could, specifically Toronto, not concerned about the rest of the country? Funny enough, I am actually located next to the Canadian border. So if uh, when when we are allowed back into your country and, you know, I would uh, love to go up there and, and uh, check that out. Canada is, is a very beautiful country and, and uh, we used to go up there quite a bit when I was growing up. So, uh, yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Uh, cool. Bill, Bill, we did answer your question. He had uh, Bill had to had to do this thing called work and uh, mm -hmm. couldn't couldn't get. We did answer your question. It was actually the first question that we we brought up, my friend. <sighs> Anna also wanted to mention that we are doing Origins as well. There's there's quite a few conventions that are all packed into uh, September, which you know seems to be quite the quite the thing because uh, we're I think everybody was kind of waiting until. Uh, things kind of opened up and we had a little more information. So it looks like everybody kind of uh, rescheduled their, their conventions for September and, and towards the end of the year. So awesome. Yes. Awesome. I think that's probably going to do it for this update. Uh, we were 40 minutes. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add, Thomas, before, uh, before we sign off? Is there anything you'd like to tell viewers, fans, uh, the free leaguers, as I like to tell, uh, as I like to call them? I don't think so. I mean, uh, no. I think we covered a lot of uh, covered a lot of stuff. Uh, there's things happening, so stay stay tuned. Uh, you know, follow our. You can still you know follow us on Facebook and and Twitter and so on. If you, and and of course this uh, beautiful YouTube channel. So do that, and and you'll you know stay on top of things. Absolutely, we like we love uh, connecting with folks, and we really appreciate the YouTube community and, and the free leaguers that have that have come to, over here. Uh, since we keep, couldn't really. And we, we still aren't really able to connect physically in con at conventions and events. This is a great way to do it. And we really great, greatly appreciate everybody that, that uh, is a part of it here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, go follow Free League Publishing on, at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, if you want to stay more up to date with, uh, with all the things that we've got going on. That's going to do it for this monthly update for May 2021. We will see you all shortly we've got more content headed your way so make sure to hit that subscribe button we'll see y'all soon thank you thomas for your time thanks thank everyone you. that joined us live <laughs> Bye.